questions for Garrett? I know you're sore. Neil said some of that's your own fault. You should learn yeah. to get the ball off, not take a shot. Yeah, in, in polite terms, I got to stop being a dumb. So. <laughs> But, you know, that's, that's just part of the way I play. And, you know, sometimes I put myself in harm's way, which, you know, they, they try their best to, to negate that. But, you know, I mean, it's all right. Go ahead, we got to win. How important was that win overall? I mean, you, you, you were there, lost two straight, you yeah. feeling down. So just getting the emotion and momentum turned back around. Yeah, it was big. You know, uh, you know we, we haven't really played a complete game, uh, top to bottom, uh, offense, defense, special teams. Um, and I feel like we, we, we played we kind of played a pleat game other than you know offensive side you know that we had that we had that kind of two minute drive um, before half where I got I got to hit DC on the on the mesher, but you know for for the most part I think I think offense did did enough to win. First time you opened the game with a shot play. Yeah. To EJ, walk us through what you were thinking when you made the throw. Yeah, you know they they, they kind of they like playing that tight tight quarters, um, and you know it's. EJ ran a great route. Everything was there. Um, we had we had the exact defense that that we we wanted to to that play. Um, and you know I just got to hit it. You threw on the run line. Yeah. Walk us through that. You were getting matchups in the flat. Yeah. Contained. Yeah. We you know we we liked our matchups with with our slot guys DC Rodney. We liked our matchup with with them too on their on their safeties. Um, so that was, that was something we just we just kept kept doing. Did you have a mindset going into that, hey, we've got to match six scores because you know how strong their offense is? Not, not really so much just, just for how strong their offense is. I mean, uh, JRP, uh, we, me and him go back a long ways. We have the same quarterback coach, Demo, uh, in Mobile. So, you know, we're, we're kind of similar players. So I, I, knew, I knew that they were going to move the ball. But I had complete faith, faith in our defense. Um, you know, as an offense, every time, we, every time we touch the ball, you know, every time we go out for a drive, we're trying to score touchdowns. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who it is. Um, you know that, that's our goal. Game ball. Yeah. So this is. So actually, my my grandma. She's she's not a huge. She know that my dad played football um, growing up, and you know she she's been a teacher d down in Miami for 24 years. Um, yesterday was the first day she's act, a, asked for off, and I don't know how long. Um, she she's never seen me play play in person. Uh, she watched all the games on TV, but but n never seen me play in person. So this ball's going to her. Were you thinking of that when you went back into the game after the first time you were down? Not, not really. You know, it's more so just every everybody in, the, in that locker room. They put in so much. Um, you know, between offensive lines, uh, wide receivers, running backs, tight ends, uh, and, you know, the whole defense, special teams, everybody. They put in too much, too much for me to let you know a little ankle take me out. That first fourth down attempt on your first drive. I mean, obviously, convention may say kick it and go, but you guys went for it and got it. How important was it? How gutsy of a call is that by the way? Yeah, you know, Co Coach Brown, Coach Brown, I think, thinks done a great job of kind of relaying to me, um, you know, what, how aggressive we're going to be. Um, and that was our mindset that, you know, anything close, you know, we, we have faith in, faith in all, all the guys up front. Um, I know Doug went down, but full faith in Malone um, that, you know, how, however many yards on fourth, we can get it. And then the, late in the game, you go again on fourth and two, and it was that just pure RPO, and you hit EJ on the, the cross, or what was that, and what did you see? Yeah, so that, that was like kind of a design rollout. Um, mm -hmm. we, we ran that same scheme a, a lot on third down, um, and that was just a design rollout. EJ, I mean, you know, EJ's done a great job of kind of, you know, those crosses are, are hard because, you know, you start on the backside and you got to somehow get, get into the quarterback's vision. Um, so EJ, I think I hit him twice on it this game. Um, he's done a phenomenal job of kind of getting, getting, winning on the route, and then getting into my throwing, throwing vision. Last question: How good is this offense? When I mean, you can run it now and throw it. I mean, early in the year you were struggling throwing yeah. the ball. Now that you've got sort of all facets going, how, how good can this offense? Be? Yeah, I think this offense can can be as good as I let it. You know, mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of it, a lot of it falls on my shoulders. You know, Coach Brown, Reagan. You know, when I first saw the game plan on Monday. I knew, knew we had a great game plan. Um, we scored 41, but mm -hmm. you know, I, if if I hit EJ on EJ on the first one, you know, there's so many plays out there that you know could have could have extended drives the two minute. Uh, I got to hit DC on that. So there's so many so many points we left left on the board, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm happy happy we won. Okay, thank you, Garrett. Thank you, guys. Your grandmother did.